Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to head over there and get set up for the Minecraft, Minecraft. thing. Minecraft. Uh, there was something Kelly wanted to do today, so I'm going to bring Kelly on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she can quickly talk about some stuff, but right. make sure your mic is good to go. Serge, you can take over yeah, the computer. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll draw the giveaway okay. before we uh, switch over to you. So, yeah. Yeah. Kelly. Hello. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Good. So, I'm here to share a little something. I know we usually do story time with Liz, mm. and we did that already. Yes, so please. <laughs> um, but I'm going to share something new um, um, that happened this year to give you guys an, a little bit closer understanding of how important child's play is. Wait, 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 wait. Where are the tissues? Uh, yeah. Um, you might want me. I got it. Here we go. Sorry. So, oh. I'm sure some people know in my life I've got three little monsters running around every day. Um, and the middle one, um, his name is Quinn. Um, and uh, he is just turned four this weekend. And this summer we found out for sure that he has von Wildebrands and possibly a mild form of uh, hemophilia. The confirmation for the blood test has not come back yet. Mm. So um, he has spent the last few months um, going into the hospital quite a lot here mm. at Victoria. Uh, to Victoria General, the Children's Pediatric Department, which I know James and Liz, you guys got to go visit. Um, and so he has been blessed by Child's Play. Um, they have lots of fun toys and treasure boxes and they just make it the absolute best, um, best thing ever. Um, I sent some photos to engineering, I don't know if they have them or not, but I will. That's Quinn outside, oh, <laughs> wearing his very fashionable glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the next one of his, that's at Victoria Children's. Um, that is his hospital teddy bear that they got him, uh -huh. uh, who now lives at home. Um, and the, honestly, they are, pediatric nurses are like just the best. Um, he was really into octopi right now, and one of the nurses happened to be fishing with her husband, and they caught an octopus, <laughs> like a tiny one. So she just had videos of it. She was just like, while they're trying to get his blood, they're like, octopi. And I'm like, yes, there you go. And he was super happy about the whole thing. Um, so for him, it does mean that we're going to have probably, and then he had to have a small minor procedure done, um, which is the third picture, uh, him post, post anesthetic, <laughs> sleepy, Aww. sleepy bug. Um, but this does mean this is a lifelong thing. Um, I have to keep a medication in the fridge that I have, uh, in case he bleeds because he will bleed. Um, for him, he just gets nosebleeds mostly and they generally, luckily he's, uh, at this point, clots enough that he it stops, but in the future, we do expect that it's possible. And of course, he has to be the child that's the WWE aficionado. <laughs> I have pile, pulled him off of every bookshelf, every wall, every window, every couch, everything. Um, he's the one who, I swear, he's gonna just go run into a wall one day and just like, schmuck, I'm okay, and then just keep going. So, of course, it has to be that child. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway. But yeah, so just so you know exactly what you're donating for and how important it is, there's the toys, the joy, the happiness that is available in the pediatric department for these kids is absolutely magical. And it's so important. So. Yay. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. So yeah, thank you to everybody who donates. It. <laughs> Very real examples of what a difference it makes. Yep.